Welcome to Cooking Curves Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to control almost any digital camera using Gphoto and Shell Scripts. So, to take a time lapse, you obviously need to wait however amount of time you want in between taking a picture. Now, Gphoto has a function that does this, but I found that it's pretty unreliable. Sometimes it'll give you an error when you try to run it. Other times, it'll work for a while and then stop. And other times it'll think it's working, but actually not work. So we go over to the terminal and paste in the, you know, how to get to the script. Press enter. It asks you for an interval. So I'm gonna do one second. And my camera's right next to the computer, so you should be able to hear it. Great, now we wait another second. There it goes again. And again. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's get started. So, to get started, pop open your text editor and you're gonna make a new shell script. So the first thing you need to do is type hash, exclamation mark, slash bin, slash bash. And this is basically like a doc type tag in HTML. And we're going to save this file now so that it won't use HTML colors and instead it'll use shell script colors. So I'm going to call it timelapse.sh. Save. Great. Next, we're going to type read minus sign p, open quotes interval colon space close quotes so essentially it's going to ask you how much interval you want and type time after that so that it will be stored in a variable called time shell scripts are pretty weird but it works next type while true because you want it to repeat forever do and on the next line G photo two, G photo two, dash dash, auto dash detect, and then on the next line, G photo two, dash dash, capture, dash image, and of, of course you're gonna need to have G photo installed on your computer for this to work, so make sure to do that. Unfortunately, Windows does not support Gphoto because, yeah, well, it's just built for Unix operating systems. So you'll need to be using a Mac or Linux. And if you're using a Mac, installing it is kind of weird. So I put a link in the description to a guide to installing Gphoto on your Mac. I used it and it worked. To install it on Linux, just install it with whatever package manager you use, so like apt or something. Next, type sleep. This is important, you gotta have it wait. Dollar sign time. That is the name of the variable. And the dollar sign is just to let it know that it is a variable and not an input. And type done. Great. Save that file. Now you're gonna need to find the file on your computer and copy its location. So I think mine's on my desktop. Here it is, timelapse.sh. Copy timelapse.sh. Yes, that is all you have to do. Great. Now, open your terminal and hit Command-V or Control-Shift-V in your, if you're on Linux and press Enter. Oh, permission denied. Yes, because I forgot to do something very important. You have to mark it as executable, so type ch mod plus x you do a space after that then paste in the link to the file great now paste it in by itself and you can run it interval let's do two seconds this time and now it's working so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe buy my merch and remember seriously g photo is pretty cool it supports 2500 different models of camera
Also, doesn't the new Microsoft Edge logo look just like the new Firefox logo if you really think about it? 